Okay, so, uh, big, big update today. Um, there was maintenance until, like, I think around 11.30, and the game's been, like, up and down and, like, all around. It's been, like, going down, the server crashed at, like, multiple points. So, today's been kind of crazy for this game, but sort of the big main thing now is that, uh, these two are in the game. So, you can now unlock Warlock Infinite. I was totally, totally, completely, utterly, entirely wrong. I thought that his Challenger event, because all previous Challenger events, they've had the Challenger mode first, and then you can unlock them. It was like the question mark, question mark, question mark thing for the 500. Nope, they just instantly added him. So yeah, you're gonna be able to get Challenger chests. I actually still need to get one here. Um, and yeah, so, um, I've already taken a look at both of these characters' kits. Mommy Knuckles is Welcome Edition too. I was not actually expecting him. I was expecting him to be added once his update actually came out. Uh, geez, I'm like looking at, I currently have the, like the screenshots channel and, uh, the official Discord like pulled up and oh my god, some people already have Warlock at like level 10, which is kind of ridiculous. But uh, yeah, so there's this guy um, and we'll get to his stats in a bit with Mummy Knuckles. Uh, yeah, um, he's in here, so we'll take a look at him too with his two new items. I was completely correct. I believe I said in my um, video with the social media post that he would have probably two new items, and I was dead on, so. Um, Warlock Infinite, though, uh, there's a little bit of uh, a weird side to him, but yeah. So, just off the bat, he has probably the second best stat spread in the game. What does Base Infinite have? 10-10-6? Yeah, he's, he's better. So, 988. Um, you trade some speed and acceleration for more strength. So, automatically he's probably better than base infinite. Uh, yeah. Um. So, his moves, we have Phantom Dash, which is absolutely, ridiculously, entirely, completely trash. It needs buffs. Um, it's like actually the same with like super this where like it they need to be like complete it needs to be completely buff um and then phantom dagger um we have a little bit of a tangle sick situation here so he only has two items phantom dagger and phantom dash phantom dash is basically useless because it is uh um so it's it, it's basically just a worse super, and super boost by itself is already not the greatest right now, it needs buff, so. Take that, make it worse, and it's unusable. It's like actually one of the worst boosts in the game. And then Phantom Dagger, this is a, it's decently good, I'm pretty sure, don't you get multi pickup? Oh, this is not it. Uh, I don't actually know the upgrade path, I believe you do get multi pickup though. Um, so, the thing with this is that it goes super fast, and then also gives your enemies, like, uh... It gives them... The, what's it called? The, like, Phantom Ruby status effect? So... Um... Uh, yeah. He's gonna- you're gonna be getting a lot of status effects, this moves super fast, it's really hard to dodge. Um and it's multi-pickup, so he's just gonna be sort of like throwing these everywhere. Think, uh, Lancel, uh, yeah, DHL. Just think DHL with Red Dragon, but like 10 times worse because there's two slots of it and it's multi-pickup. Yay! Uh, he seems decent, of course, I'd have to get my hands on him. Uh, definitely not, doesn't seem like a very, um, level-reliant character, like, so, with the rapid recap, I got DJ Vector to level 6, technically level 7 from not even having him. And I could say he's, he's good, but he definitely needs those levels. Um, and then Galahad. Uh, 
I just like to put it out here. I I would like to make an apology. Um, uh, he's Galahad's really good. Um, it's particularly his boost. Uh, the thing is that you just get speed from your levels, so I've been underrating him. I want to get him to like level eight before he gets nerfed because he's high. He's definitely getting nerfed. Uh, he's ridiculous at high levels, absolutely ridiculous. Um, and DJ Vector, I think I've been underrating too, both of them. So probably change it to my top 10 once I get these two. Uh, so Warlock Infinite's a decent. Of course, would have been nice to get an actual third item, but, uh, you know, the decent. Uh, uh, Mummy Knuckles. So we have Jump Scare, which I think think will work similar to, um, what is it, Stalking Shade? Um, it could be completely different. We'll have to see how he, uh, how this works once we actually get our hands on him, which I'm assuming is probably next week. Now we have Boo Boos. Put the Frighteners on your opponent with this chilling charge. Again, no clue. Uh, and then Spear Trap. This is the first time we've seen this on a character since Movie Knuckles. Uh, one sec. Uh, so it's good to see this because he's actually. This is a decent trap. Uh, not anything too special, but it has a lot of slowdown. Um, and then 669. Uh, 669. I'm conflicted. 669 is good. I guess for a Knuckles character, that's kind of par for the course. Um, but... I kind of wish he had a little bit more speed. Because acceleration is kind of a useless stat. Um, like, seriously, it doesn't matter too much, but speed being low. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just like not sure at all. He seems decent, of course. We haven't actually seen him in game. I have seen Warlock in game because of the challenger mode and yeah, he's he's good, so. Oh. And the game crash! Oh my god, don't tell me. Don't tell me live on video we just got this. Cause this has been what's happening. All day. Literally all day. Oh my god. This is... Yeah. Um, another reason why the 7 day event is trash. Uh, this is gonna happen. This is going to happen eventually to an event at some point. Especially with characters that are as hype as this guy. I just, I'm going to have to blur out my account ID when I'm editing. I am just realizing this. Yay! Uh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, we got back in. That's dope. So I only have to blur out two points. That's good. Uh, with these, like, pretty old servers, they really need to make these, revert these events back to being, like, what was it, nine days, 14 days? Like, Seriously, this is my god. Because we spent basically half the day so far trying to get this to work, and like, we literally haven't been able to play. So they need to extend this event to 14 days and make it two weeks, and then have Knuckles come out after that, so then boom, we can all get infinite. It's that simple. And then also, if Knuckles' event is, gets extended to 14 days, whoop de do we get to the week before Halloween. That's amazing. More points where I have to blur up my 
30. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of a tangent there, but uh, Infinite seems pretty good. Of course, gonna have to actually get them in our hands first instead of a trash bot. But uh, and Knuckles seems decent as well. But uh, yeah. Just let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna stop now before I have to blur any more segments. Okay, bye!